good afternoon students yesterday we have discussing the characteristics of the instruments okay so uh, in the last class we have studied some of the characteristics today uh, in the similar way we have uh, some more characteristics uh, so in that next one is linearity okay so what is the linearity we will see now the output varies linearly with the input okay so that uh, quantity is called as linear quantity okay so for example see this graph everyone i hope uh, everyone will see that so this line indicates your input and this line indicates your output okay so and whenever your input is changing so in the respective way your output is also changing okay for example input take it as a current so current start increasing okay so for example uh, for 2 amps your voltage will be 5 volt and for <coughs> okay similarly for 4 volt your uh, you know uh, voltage will be that is around 15 or 10 so like that okay so your uh, voltage is also uh, current is also increasing means input your output is also increasing so that characteristics is called as linear characteristics okay so it should be represented in terms of percentage so linearity is equals to maximum deviations okay see here so here uh, your uh, curve is there so here the maximum you no know, changes maximum changing maximum variations from uh, you know, standard value so this line is indicates idealized straight line so and this is the actual output okay so your linearity indicates that is maximum deviations from standard to maximum and it is full full scale scale reflections into 100 so that will give the linearity in, uh, you know, in terms of percentages okay so next characteristics uh, you know reproduct <coughs> reproducibility or repeatability so see uh, it is a degree of closeness with a given values uh, may be repeatedly measured okay so, so one quantity can be measured many more times so that the output should be same so there is no difference in that output so then that uh, you know, characteristic is called reproductivity or repeatability okay so the value of a repeatability measured quantity is close to true value okay so as many times you have measured the output that output should be you know, may, uh, you know similar to the your true value okay so another uh, next one is hysteresis okay see here. this is hysteresis hysteresis is nothing but so here is your input here is your output okay so when your input start increasing okay so from negative side if it take a this is a first curve this is second curve take a first curve when your input start increasing okay minus to positive so your output is also increasing in the first curve okay so in the second curve what it will do so again uh, if your uh, input is changing increasing but it is not increasing so input is increasing but output is start decreasing here so this curve is called as hysteresis curve okay so now we will study so uh, when input increases from negative value the output also increases it is the first curve okay so when the input in decreases the output does not same path okay so in the second curve okay. so that curve is called as uh, hysteresis curve okay so the difference between the two curves are called as hysteresis uh, property so difference between two curves what is if uh, you know when you subtract uh, one you know, on each other you will get one uh, difference that difference is called as so it may be uh, this one okay so this may be this one or this is the difference okay so that difference could be your hysteresis okay so next one is uh, reliability Okay, what is reliability reliability it is a uh, defined as extent to which an instrument consistently measures the value which it is used okay so means uh, if uh, you know, a measurement unit consistently 
it will do its work so without uh, changing its any uh, without without changing uh, the output okay so without any uh, error occurring it will continuously show its output uh, in a correct way so that is called as reliability okay so these are the properties so they may be asked it for uh, 5 to 10 marks okay so these are the characteristics of the instrument okay uh, next we will study the sources of error okay so uh, already we have seen what is the error error is the difference between input and output okay so that is now uh, point wise we will see so what are the sources and what are the factors which are going to make errors so in that first one is fault design faulty design of the instrument okay so while designing only some uh, no, fault will be done by the manufacturer so that is uh, due to that one so your instrument showing some error instead of uh, for example you are measuring 10 volts uh, instead of 10 volt it's showing uh, 9 volt so that time so due to the faulty design of the manufacturers so in the second one so due to insufficient knowledge about the quantity okay so there is uh, no there is a lagging of uh, knowledge so with respect to the particular quantity for example if you are measuring the power factor so you should first you should know about the what is the power factor and what are the parameter going to affect the power factor so uh, this is also one factor and uh, fail to do frequent maintenance okay so we need uh, every instrument will need a particular maintenance okay for a period of time for example um, some uh, power, fact power factor meter so all those things a measuring measurement units should uh, need a frequent maintenance okay so if you lag this maintenance then uh, there will be occurring of error so and due to unskilled operator okay so without knowledge if you are operating any instrument then that time also you are going to get the errors that is unskilled operators okay so next one uh, due to some limitations okay so every instrument have its own limitations if you uh, run or if you uh, no, start measuring uh, out of these limitations then those meters will show the error okay similarly we have an improper way of using okay so instead of uh, for, for example we are using voltmeter so in the voltmeter uh, instead of connecting a parallel if you connected in series or if you change the terminal connections that time so your error will be occurs that is also one of the important point that is improper way of using so again so due to environmental conditions for example uh, environmental temperatures humidity so these factors will also affect the uh, no, uh, leads to some error okay so these are the sources of error normally these questions uh, this is also important questions which will be asked for five marks okay